kind of a weird angle, but hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elise Andrews and I make videos whenever I get the chance about having a healthy creative art practice while also having a full-time job that is not creative, not related to creativity, any of that, uh, or kind of is, I don't know. Anyway, um, and this month it is, I'm, I'm going over my October clips. Um, that's kind of what I've been doing the past few months just because I have tried to make vlogs and then they fail but I have some pretty good art footage going on, so I thought that I would still include it. Yes, I do have um, a Christmas tree up in the background. That's just kind of my vibe. Uh, just wanna enjoy myself, enjoy the holidays. Um, I'm deciding to be that type of person this year. So anyway, um, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this intro. Um, I was proud of some of the Peachtober pieces that I made. It was a really nice exercise. That's kind of what October was for me. Um, it was also a really busy month with work and life things and health things, kind of. So um, you'll hear about that in the video, but I hope you enjoy and let's get into it. So welcome to October. Um, this is a continuation, as you've seen, of my Peachtober adventures. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, I didn't fully complete Peachtober. I got to like day 22 and then I just was so overwhelmed with everything going on that I just thought I'd take a pause. But uh, you do get to see me work on the actual, like more, more of the coloring and inking of these pieces uh, in this month. So that's exciting. Check out last month's video if you haven't that I published like a week ago cause I've just been trying to catch up on my clips, okay? But anyway, um, I really enjoyed doing still lives during Peachtober this year. That was something I wanted to make sure to incorporate along with mostly focusing on colored inks because I just love a good still life. I think that's one of my strong points. Here's a little clip of Lulu. As always, we've got a lot of Lulu clips during this month. So that's kind of what's going on. I was really enjoying the holiday season. October is a great time to kind of get spooky, get ready for fall and winter and all the other holidays. So I really enjoyed that aspect of this year. I'm clearly having a hard time lighting this candle. Anyway, um, I have a list here of things that I've, you know, been doing over October and kind of my very eventful, interesting October. So I'll just start looking down the line of them, read down the line. But um, the main thing I did, or one of the big things that I've been doing is um, figure drawing classes, which I'll make sure to include a few clips of in here. I don't know if it'll be now or if it'll be later on, but I, as I mentioned in the last video, I started in September and every week of this month in October, I've been doing figure drawing. Um, it's like a pretty long class uh, that I go to one day a week and it gets in the way of a lot of things and it makes me stressed at times, but I'm really happy to be doing it and having a way to learn and develop my skills as an artist while I'm also working, because as I mentioned, this channel, kind of what I'm trying to do now is figure out how to have a healthy studio practice while also having a full-time job that is not art related. But I imagine it's probably even harder too, or s similarly difficult if you do already have a creative job and you're trying to have uh, your own art practice. Anyway, um, so yeah. Uh, this month also in October, I had alumni weekend at my college. Um, you'll see a clip near the end of me fake graduating. There was a cardboard cutout of my, I was gonna say principal, my goodness, the, the president of my university and a little fake diploma thing. So that was, that was fun, I guess. <laughs> it was nice to see my friends and everyone who came from out of town. So I really enjoyed that. Um, so I did that. Um, and then work this month, as I mentioned, as it was last month, work was also pretty busy, uh, but I had some great days in the office working with my team, so that was awesome. Um, and then, okay, yeah, what you're seeing now, I made a few TikToks. I'm not really on TikTok. It's currently deleted from my phone, but sometimes I'll pop on there and do something. It's just too distracting. But I made that TikTok, which was really fun. I really liked that piece. I made muffins, as you can see. Like I made them, I shut this clip, and then I, um, and then you see me take the finished product out of the oven. Very exciting. This painting was interesting. Um, it was based off of a photo that my mom sent me of my dog that she put like headphones on, just kind of joking um, during like a thunderstorm because my dog doesn't love thunder. But she hasn't always been that way. She kind of started becoming a scaredy cat as she got older. So that's weird. Anyway, um, I'm looking forward, as I mentioned earlier, to the holiday season. Um, I am deciding to be that type of person to put my Christmas tree up 
um, in November. I did it actually on Halloween, I think. Either Halloween or November 1st. Yeah, you can judge me, that's fine. I've been telling people, I just wanna feel something. And these bandanas I got for Lulu, super cute. So that's, that's what I'm doing this year. I'm just trying to enjoy the holidays, enjoy celebrating things, having nice decorations. I got some stockings up the other day um, and I like did a really bad job of embroidering um, me and my boyfriend and my dog's names on them, but that is all fine. Um, we've been going to the dog park a lot this month. Um, there'll be clips in here of that too, but that's really fun. Here's another TikTok that I did that I think turned out super great. Um, again, two killer TikToks. Um, I think my, yeah, my username's on the screen. It's Elise Marie 17 but this was me working on the frog piece, which turned out so good. Uh, my coworker had sent a picture of his frogs um, that are like in his backyard in his hibiscus plant. I was like, I love frogs. I need to draw a frog. I love hibiscuses, and so, let's just put it together and make a beautiful piece. And so I absolutely love that one. I'm considering making prints of it. I don't know that I can put in some kind of shop, Etsy. Who knows if I'll ever launch that again. I, I, Etsy is in the back of my mind right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think I'll also be doing pet portraits this year. That's something I did last year that was kind of fun. But I, when I'm recording this voiceover, it is November and I feel like it's a little too late. Like it's like mid-November. It's a little too late to be getting that up, but oh well, um, or to get be getting pet portraits done. So anyway, um, I this month I also deleted my main Instagram. Crazy, um, not really. I just feel like it didn't really serve me that well, um, and I wasn't really posting anything interesting on my like personal account, which some of you guys follow. You found me from Redbubble, so. Now you, you can't follow that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I just don't need it anymore. It's not valuable to me. And I saved like everything. Here's me at art school. I saved everything in a folder um, of like that you can download. And so I have all my memories, have all my things. I just, I don't need it anymore. Um, so that was fun. And I mean, I, I overshare in these things in a way. Um, in terms of health, like last month I said that I had some health issues. This month I had like a full body rash that was related to those issues. So that was, that wasn't fun either. Um, but I got over it, but that was something that was causing me a lot of stress this month and why kind of I fell off the Peachtober train and it just was really distracting. Um, when you don't know what's going on with your body and what's wrong with it and you have to, you know, have your job and have a dog and make sure it's happy and then also like take care of yourself and take care of art so i was just art kind of got pushed to the back burner a little bit and this clip you can see this is one of my favorite pieces um and a lot of people also liked it as well which is cool um i did a just a flat like ink wash at first and then i went in with my nib pen which is something i do want to incorporate more i didn't do that like anywhere near as much as i wish i had done or hadn't used i didn't use it that much this month uh during peachtober i should have but it's a really fun way to make lines but also like it's more challenging than just using a pencil or a uh, normal like i guess ballpoint pen because you're having to make sure it's angled in the proper way you're having to refill it constantly um, you have to be more mindful about the lines you make and more intentional especially yeah this is ink um and just making sure that you're not overloading the nib, but also not like underloading it. So it's just something that kind of takes time and practice. And I have a little bit of experience with it before, but um, it's something I definitely want to start using more. So this was a really fun piece to do that on. So this was toast and I did kind of my morning view in my apartment of an egg on toast. Yeah, I guess I have been talking about myself and not art related things for a bit. I put on dog TV for my dog. She really liked it. She was just enjoying her morning. That was a great day. Um, here was, here's some clips that I have that I was gonna make a TikTok out of for a reel and just didn't get around to it. But this was a really fun piece. This was actually the last piece that I did before I gave up on Peachtober kind of for a little bit or I just like had to stop. Um, again, I get home late from my figure drawing classes. It stresses me out. And then I have to do a Peachtober piece? Absolutely not. And then I just I just needed to stop and take a break. So 
Am I a little disappointed that I failed at it this year? Yeah, but um, kind of given the circumstances, there wasn't much else I could have done. I kind of worked as much as I could on this. I probably could have worked harder, but um, yeah, it's not too much of a letdown for me. So maybe, and it was very ambitious what I wanted to do. You know, like last year, whenever I fully completed Peachtober on time and everything, I was just doing ink drawings in my sketchbook, like using um, a liner pen and a, um, what else, liner pen and maybe some Copic markers to get some shading. But like other than that, that that, that, that was just like so simple. So this was a lot more involved, I was ambitious, and also I have everything else going on. So anyway, enjoy some Lulu clips. Um, that was pretty much my month. I hope you enjoyed looking at some of my art, what I created, seeing some of my Peachtober, seeing my dog. Um, and yeah, so uh, again, I'm trying to, I'm gonna definitely do like a favorite books of 2021 or what books I read in 2021 video. So that'll be an actual sit down video. Um, here's my fake graduation ball. Um, and so that'll be really cool. Um, I'm looking forward to making that and finishing my reading goal for the year. I've been reading a ton this month in November, so excited about that. I'm trying to think of anything else. Yeah, here's me putting up my tree, enjoy that. Call me a crazy person, whatever. Uh, yeah, I um, think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, all that jazz. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>